What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name's Jake for those that are new here and it's that time of year that uh, it is cold outside and the cows are eating hay and uh, with the current situation that we have with trying to haul hay uh, without a skid loader or a uh, loader tractor uh, we're doing a little bit of hay hauling today. Uh, figured that I'd bring you guys along and uh, I know it's the same thing over and over, but we're planning on doing a couple of loads here today. And uh, you can kind of see our process on hauling hay. Uh, it's out there if you want to go back in our dialogue uh, videos. With our current situation of tractors and uh, whatnot is, that has been going on lately, we are using the Alice 7030. Dad's uh, currently driving it down the road right now as I am following him with the uh, hay trailer in my truck here. Uh, the 4010, uh, we've had a little bit of problems with it and we've pretty much diagnosed it down to the injection pump. Uh, you let it sit for a day and it'll fire right up with the lever in all the way in the uh, full throttle position and it will run like it's idling and it will slowly start dwindling down after about 45 seconds and die out uh, we've replaced the fuel filters on it as well as the fuel pump because we thought that it, that was what was going on um, but turns out it is not that so and of course the 1070 has got its uh, power shift clutch problems so we are down to the 7030 we would use my tractor but it is currently still hooked onto the rotary mower that is uh, being borrowed from my best friend Zach uh, I need to get that back to him I've uh, been trying to work with him on trying to get it back to him and things haven't quite lined out without further ado I'm gonna quit jabbering I tried to haul hay yesterday by myself and I wasn't having too much luck. No matter where I placed the trailer, it was not uh, cooperating with me. So with both of us here and around and the trailer actually being on my truck instead of hauling it with the tractor itself too, uh, we'll be able to probably haul, especially where we try to uh, load up from. As you can tell, maybe this is higher over here and this is lower. We're gonna try to load from this side. Uh, we'll see how lucky we can get.
right, that wasn't too bad. Uh, Dad had to pull me out because the trailer sunk on the driver's side here, but that wasn't too bad pulling me out then. Uh, tractor with duels has plenty of traction, so tractor without duels has got plenty of traction anyways. But I'm headed back over to the farm here. Dad's behind me now. Uh, he's transporting over the one that I messed up pretty badly yesterday. So that just leaves two there on Wes's. Uh, we may do some more after this. I don't know. It's pretty soggy. Uh, the ground has uh, thawed out quite a bit uh, the past day uh, because we have been over freezing now for uh, a couple days now. So uh, all the snow that we had uh, has melted. Uh, it firmed up quite nicely yesterday, but it's uh, obviously some of the frost is coming out of the ground. So uh, I'm gonna get over to the farm here and I'm gonna get where we usually park when we have a truck and trailer to be able to unload hay. And then we'll go from there. All right, I'm back over here at the farm. Now this is where we usually Park a truck and trailer to be able to unload. Right in front of the 870, which is a future project on the channel here. It needs a motor or a motor overhaul, one or the other. So anyways, I'm gonna let dad uh, unload and then we'll decide whether we're doing any more. Uh, we have some hay on Gantz or way up north uh, here at the farm site here so we'll decide what we're gonna do there at that point but i'm gonna stick you guys on a time warp and then i'm gonna grab a chainsaw and work at my dad's wood mess around here around the 870 from a tree falling over we need to get this cleaned up so i'm gonna work on that while he's unloading The, uh, load unloaded and we're gonna head down here to the shed and uh, we're gonna load up the six that are the second cutting that is my dad's share and uh, we'll take those up to the house all right he got uh, two bales loaded up so far I had to move my tractor out of the way because I parked it right beside those bales so Anyways, uh, this is second cutting. If you didn't see that video, very crucial that you go see that video. Uh, that's a future project that is coming up uh, that happens towards the end of that video or middle, and we take care of it towards the end of the video. But anyways, so just a heads up if you're wanting to see some future content, give the video a thumbs up over that because uh, we need that tractor back badly. Uh, the 1070 has been very helpful the past few years and it has needed no work up until this point so other than little piddly things here and there but that's all with all of them
was a poor shot. Should have been paying attention to a camera too. But anyways, that one's on there. Here's the end of the video. Uh, we got two loads over to home and uh, got those unloaded. We unhooked everything and uh, we're gonna call it quits for tonight. But uh, if you like this sort of content, give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here, consider subscribing and make sure that you hit the notification bell for everything that we put on. It will give you a notification and it's free. It doesn't hurt you. Anyways, uh, without further ado, we'll see y'all on the next one.